Now, next up here is going to be with Robinhood. This is great for any type of investor. It is zero account balance minimum, as well as zero fees. Now, there are, of course, some fees on some other options that you're doing with Robinhood, but the base version of investing is free. Simple and clean user interface. This is honestly one of the best investing apps out there when it comes to user interface. Nothing comes second, honestly, to it. They do also have fractional shares, so you can invest in very small dollar amounts as well. And then you can also do options trading if you're somebody who wants to go into that area. They also have the option for instant deposits. It's $1,000 plus. It's usually $1,000 to begin with, and if you have the paid membership, it will jump up a higher dollar amount. Now, instant deposits allow you to have that money that you transferred in instantaneously to go ahead and buy into the market right away, which allows you to not have to wait a couple of days for that money to be deposited into your account. Now, part of the reason that's really nice is because they also have a 24-5 trading market, which is one of the very first to be able to do something like this, where you could be sitting on your couch on a Wednesday night at like 9 p.m. Eastern and be able to trade stocks in real time. Now, that link down below will give you an option to be able to go ahead and get one free stock up to $200 in value. Now, next up here is going to be with Stash. Now, Stash also has a zero account minimum. They also do allow for fractional shares. They have that really great roundup feature that allows that money extra to come in and deposit into small dollar amounts. And you can also see they do have a stock back card, which effectively is allowing you to utilize their card to be able to spend money and actually earn stocks back based off of where you spend your money. You can actually invest accounts up to two kids with their Stash Plus feature. So if you wanna go ahead and have a custodial account, this will actually allow you to do so, again, with up to two kids. And the fees for this are gonna be anywhere from three to $9 per month. If you wanna do the custodial accounts, it will be that $9 per month. 